watches with blood oxygen level feature. Yes, that's the new tech viral in the field. Before we explain what is it, how it works and what useful it's going to bring, let's know what the pulse oximetry technique is and why is putting a pulse oximeter inside of a watch is a big deal. Pulse oximetry technique is a non-invasive method for monitoring a person's oxygen saturation in the blood of a human body. That means it's a fraction of a total oxygen saturated hemoglobin. The human body requires a regulator, a very precise and specific balance of oxygen in the blood. A normal arterial blood oxygen saturation levels required in the human are 95 to 100%. And if the level is below 90%, it is considered as low and called as hypoxemia, which is a respiratory disease, which may include breathlessness, increased rate of breathing, use of the chest and abdominal muscles to breathe, and lip pursing. Let's talk about the gadgets with this technique in the past. In its most common application mode, a SpO2 sensor device is placed on a thin part of patient's body, usually like a fingertip and the device passes two wavelengths of light through the body part to a photo detector and it measures the changing absorbance of each of the wavelengths. Many gadgets have been equipped with this amazing feature in the past, but how successful they were, let's have a quick glance. First one was by the Fitbit. Fitbit rolled out blood oxygen monitoring to its Versa line as well as its Charge 3 and Ionic fitness trackers. Both of its Ionic and Versa smartwatches include a light-based SpO2 sensor which is a pulse oximeter that measures blood oxygen levels. Second one was by the Garmin. Garmin already had a SpO2 sensor on most of their devices and Garmin has introduced a pulse ox sensors into a large part of its range within the Fenix 6X, Fenix 5X+, Plus, Vivo Active 4 and 4Runner 245, 645 and 945 all using the SpO2 sensor. Withings launched the Withings Scan Watch at CES 2020 and sleep apnea is a big new focus. The SpO2 sensor on the board will monitor blood oxygen during the night and alert you to any potential problems. So many other small unrecognized brands also tried to make the watches equipped with this feature and these gadgets may have been piece of attraction or may work somewhat well up to some levels. But now the most amazing news is that Apple is going to include this pulse oximetry feature in their upcoming Apple Watch 6. Apple is working on a feature that will allow the Apple Watch to detect the blood oxygen levels for the first time through the built-in heart rate monitor. Apple upgraded the heart rate monitor with Apple Watch Series 4, adding electrocardiogram features, but Apple Watch hasn't offered blood oxygen measurement features yet. It's also possible that future Apple Watches Series 6 hardware will be required for the new health feature. It could also come to all or newer Apple Watches models with Watch Operating System 7, which is almost ready to hit the market. Also, Apple is upgrading their ECG app currently. Apple Watches Series 1 and later can notify wearers when they detect irregular heart rhythms that suggest they might be at the risk of atrial fibrillation. They can also send alerts when a user's heart rate remains above or below the BPM, that's beat per minute, of their choosing while they're inactive. With the capacity to monitor blood oxygen levels, Apple Watches could also alert viewers who are at the risk of respiratory or cardiac arrest. So the blood oxygen levels detection feature can be very useful to the people who may have oxygen related health problems or respiratory problems. Blood oxygen levels can also be useful for the athletes and they can also indicate how well their bodies adjust to the varying activity levels. Gadgets equipped with such features may have become the need of an hour and technology has never stopped amazing us every new day. So that's it. Stay tuned for more tech related updates. Thanks for watching.